in this video we are going to see how we can install QEMU on Windows system. So I'm going to start the browser and go to the website QEMU website which is QEMU.org. So this is a quick emulator or fast emulator. Now on this website, we'll go to the download and select Windows. I'm running a 64-bit Windows, so I'll click on 64-bit. Most of you will be also running a 64-bit Windows only. So click on 64-bit Windows and select the latest version. I think the latest one is, yeah, this one, 15. So click on this this is basically a setup file so this will take a um, few minutes yeah so once it's downloaded you can execute it by clicking on this it will ask you to select the language and then you can just simply click i agree next and you can install it it will not take very long to install it's quite quick to install this so qemu is like a virtual machine but not exactly a virtual machine it emulates your it emulates a machine basically so yeah the setup is done you can click finish now what we want is that we want to be able to run qemu so let's see if i go to program files and then if i go to qemu we can see lots of uh, qemu exes here right so so uh, basically qemu comes up with a lots of different hardware architecture emulators like you can see arm emulator you can see i386 emulators uh, you'll also see emulator spark emulator x86 64-bit emulator so this is the emulator let's say we want to run so if i double click on this you will see that yeah it starts it's trying to but but it's not able to because there's no bootable disk available right now so i'll just close this and let's see how we can run it from a command prompt so if i go to the command from prompt if i type q e m u hyphen system hyphen x 86 underscore 64 Oops, sorry it's not typing anything qemu hyphen system hyphen x 86 oh sorry i had number of lock off so qemu hyphen system hyphen x 86 underscore 64 you can see it says that it's not able to find this command if I also do dot exe, it's still not able to find it because I don't have this path set as my environment variable so that when I type any commands, it can look into this particular location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the this PC or my computer, go to the properties of it, click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables and uh, look for the path. And in the path, you can just enter one more path here, which is C drive C slash uh, colon slash program files colon e e q e m u. Click OK, OK, OK everywhere. Close the window, and then now go back to the command prompt and type q e m u hyphen system hyphen x eighty six underscore sixty four. And yeah, this now starts our q e m u. So you can basically execute that command from anywhere and it will launch the emulator
so i can even go to the d drive and launch the command and it basically launches the qeme so that's how you can set up and install qeme on windows so please subscribe my channel for more coming videos on lots of technical topics so thank you so much for seeing this